Yo what's up guys this is Apex here welcome back to a new video today we'll be taking a look at LA Noir emulation test on the latest build of Skyline emulator. The gameplay which you are seeing is recorded on the Skyline Edge version 65 which was released about few hours ago and the first thing you'll notice is the fact that I am getting straight up 60 fps while emulating this game. So today I'll be telling you guys the best settings, minimum requirements and more. We'll also tell you guys the issues which you might face while emulating this amazing open world game by Rockstar Games. Let's Let's start with the device which I am using while recording this gameplay. I am using OnePlus 11 16GB RAM Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 so it's bit overkill and that's why we are getting straight up 60fps. So we are bypassing the 30fps frame limiting cap set by the game uh, with the help of Skyline emulator settings. Now let's talk about the game if you haven't already heard about LA Noir, it's made by Rockstar Games the same creator of GTA 5, Vice City, San Andreas you already know and this game is completely open world it's basically a mystery based adventure story mode involving detective cases a really amazing game which is console specific only but finally we can emulate it on our android devices in high resolution and playable status with very minimal freezing issues because previously this game used to freeze quite a lot on the skyline emulator but during this testing even though i have disabled frame capping i still didn't face even a single freezing issue which is really impressive and that's why uh, this game is fully playable on skyline emulator apart from few texture issues which I'll be talking about later on in today's video. Now to uncap the frame limiting all you have to do is open your skyline emulator settings afterwards scroll down and enable the disable frame throttling option with the help of this it will uh, enable the benchmarking mode of skyline emulator and the 30 fps frame limiting will be disabled you can exceed above 30 fps get even 60 fps on high-end titles but you need to have a great android device for example right now i am getting only 12 to 15 fps that's because all the shaders are being compiled so once you start exploring this game if you pause it for a few seconds and afterwards restart or resume the game then you'll notice that your fps will go back to optimal levels the game will surely lag a lot because as i mentioned before its shaders are compiling that's why it will take some time you'll have to move around the world for it to run smoothly at all times so that is not possible honestly but one thing you can do is just pause the game for a few seconds afterwards resume the game that will make sure that the game runs smooth at least for a few seconds other than that in the most scenarios where you are walking your game should run perfectly fine with 30 fps now this game should probably not work on mediatek devices so if you have an mali gpu android device then comment down below and let me know if this game works for you or not let's talk about the texture issues so there are a few texture issues as you'll probably notice once later on in the gameplay but the sound of this game is spot on the audio output is really amazing uh, almost console level it's working perfectly fine with no issues whatsoever and as i mentioned before the texture issues are here now the only solution for texture issues is restarting your game but all these te texture issues uh, and graphical problems are very minimal it won't affect your gameplay that much if it is affecting your gameplay then just save your game afterwards restart it and those issues should be solved and i'll be making more gameplay testing videos in future so be sure to comment down below which game should i test next on the latest version of skyline edge let's take a look at the map of la noir it's pretty huge there are a lot of things to explore so if you haven't gave this game a try yet then i definitely recommend you try it out and in the next video i'll probably be testing out demon slayer hinokami chronicles so be sure to subscribe turn on all notifications for that too now let me talk about the compatibility and minimum requirements to emulate this game so you'll definitely need an high-end android device with snapdragon uh, processor i recommend you guys have snapdragon 855 processor or above if you want to emulate this game at playable fps this game may boot even on low-end devices because it has been optimized quite a lot previously in the uh, cutscenes of la noir you just used to get like 2 to 3 fps even on a flagship device but now you get straight up 60 fps uh, on an extreme flagship android device that's what i want to tell you guys on a normal device you won't get 60 fps but here as you can see once we exit the car any walking scenario you will definitely get decent fps if you have a good device so snapdragon processor is a must if you want to emulate this game and that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow goodbye